with just one click you can remove this background just like this in today's video i'm going to show you how to remove your background in obs studio without having a green screen or a gpu first we will need to download a plugin called background removal so open your browser and search for obs background removal plugin and go to the first website obs project and this is the plugin click on go to download now scroll down and go to download obs background removal installer.exe we want to download the installer file so click on it and this will start downloading so now go to download and you'll find a file like this obs background removal click on it click on yes and now install the plugin just like how you install any other app click on next and install and make sure obs is not working just install it and after that open your obs studio now i'm using my phone as a webcam if you want to know how you can watch the video that i made before i have an obs playlist on the channel you can just watch it so right now this is the face cam that i have just click on it and go to filters so right now just click on add and select background removal okay click on advanced settings and just decrease this threshold and start increasing it little by little maybe when you enable it on this it will work for you but i'll just decrease it so now scroll down because it's, it's not working fine right now so to adjust this you need to change the segmentation model try each one of these until you find what's good for you but what i have found working fine is this one robust video matting selected now as you can see my body is fully selected my face and my arms when i move now we want to remove these lines you can increase the threshold right now increase the threshold a little just start adjusting these settings until you find what is working also make sure you have enough distance from the background i'm really close to the background it may remove my body by having a longer distance it will be much better now as you can see i've removed my background and it's working fine i want to add another backdrop so let's take the, this picture drop it to obs studio just download any picture from google and put the layer below your droid cam and drag it and now disable the filter and i'll make the background just the same as my normal background so just like this now enable the filter now it should be working fine also if you have an external gpu like nvidia rtx or something it will work much better so right now i don't even have an external gpu i'm just using my internal gpu this is the ryzen 3 3200g and i'm using the internal graphics card the big 8 so if you have a graphics card it will be much better so right now after we add our background we want to make it look better we may add some contrast so now add some color correction color correction like increase the contrast saturation so just like this add some color correction also add some sharpening okay add some sharpness and also add sharpness and decrease it so now to the background this is the background the picture so right now add a filter click on add and select filter blur right now you have a blur so select box linear and increase the size so now the background is blurry so, so it adds some isolation also let's say in the filters go to go back to droid cam click on filters if you don't want to remove the background and you want to add a blur to isolate yourself just go to this blur background and increase it just increase this blur it will get your background back but it'll start blurring it you might not see it because it's a white background just start playing with the settings until you find what is good for you you can now you can now group your background and the and the face cam in the same group just select both and right click and select group selected items and you can now move your background and the face cam at the same time just like this and you can also copy it to another source so with just one click you can remove this background just like this so guys that's it for today's video video if you find it helpful like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time